something like every single night and we would talk about the future and like what we're going to do and that like, man just imagine think it's about it a long it. time coming then and it's like and it happened and you it just happened. never know man it's what's wild all right, guys. Well, before we bring on our next guest, which is Tamina, we do want to play a quick little game with you guys uh, and have you assess these WrestleMania legends. This is a game we're calling Shoosh Ooh. or Sue Pendant. Okay. Okay. All right. We're going to kick things off with Mr. WrestleMania himself. It's Shawn Michaels. Shoosh or Sue Pendant. He's going to get a stupendous from you. Yeah. Okay. ATK. That's a good one. That's a good one. Mr. WrestleMania himself. Uh, next up, the man, of course, for celebrating his day. 316 for Stone Cold Steve Austin. Does he get a shoosh or a stupendous? Ah, uh, stupendous. Uh, okay. I agree. I agree. Yes. Cool. Right. Get a cold one today. Well, uh, this man has a lot in common with both of you. It's true. It's damn true. <laughs> Kurt Angle, shoosh or stupendous? Let's give him a... Uh... Shoot! Whoa! That's an upset. But that's only because Kurt Angle defeated me in Chicago a few years <laughs> oh, ago. Oh, that's true. We but never let things go. <laughs> performance-wise and athlete-wise, he's definitely a stupendous. Yeah. Fair enough. Uh-oh. All right, more. one more. <laughs> one more. It's a legend. You've had a lot of experience in the ring with him, of course, as of late. Randy Orton, shoosh or stupendous? Uh, I consider him the godfather, but yes. Shoosh! Nice. Shoosh! Randy! Randy, shoosh! Was it a tan or something? That was Ridiculous. a tan. That was a, that was a WrestleMania got, tan. He's cool with his tattoos, his RKOs. All right, guys. Well, that was a fun game. It is time to bring on one stupendous woman here in WWE. We know there as Women's is. History Month, we have a lot to celebrate with her and how much history she does have with WWE. She's one of my absolute favorite women that I've had the pleasure of getting to know since I've been working here. Please welcome Tamina. Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh my gosh, I love Otis and Master Gabe over there. Are you killing me right girl, now? You're making me blush, girl. <laughs> Tamina, <laughs> welcome back to the Bob. It's so great seeing your beautiful, smiling face. Uh, how are you doing this morning? Man, I miss you, girl. It's been too long. I know. I'm good. Tamina, we're happy to have you. Uh, we've seen you, of course, as of late on Raw, mixed up in the 24-7 championship picture. Now that you've been mixed up in that for a while, would you say the most important attribute to defending or challenging for that title is cardio? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's mass amounts of stair master running. You know, you got to get it all in, you know? I even had to start, like, uh, training with my daughters on the track team. <laughs> <laughs> Javelin throw. Javelin throw. <laughs> I know. Jeez, man. It's crazy. Yeah, then you got these fools always... Oh, oh all, all over. And dry cleaning. That's also important. <laughs> These get pretty messy uh, there in the World Wrestling Entertainment. Okay, that's a nice, that's a good Boston <laughs> crowd. That's a deep. Now, who's the set? Is that a guy? Oh. Uh, we'll get to we'll that get in there. a second. I, I'm actually, I'm glad you said that, Otis, because Tamina, for as hotly contested as the 24-7 championship can be, as you know very well now, it's also oddly bringing people together. Uh, it started with Dana Brooke and Reggie, and then we got to talk about it, Tamina. Uh, you know, uh, you and Tazawa's, I don't know if I want to call it love story. I don't know what, uh, I'm not sure. Uh, but the YouTube, the YouTube chat wants to know, are you still trying to sort out your feelings for Tazawa right now? Or can you break some news for us right now and, and put a label on this one way or the other? Listen, I'm just trying to get that 24 seven title, Preach. you know, but if somebody wants to sit there and ask me for a kiss or to want to give me like a good luck kiss, what am I going to do? You know, I'm in the zone. I'm trying to make sure that I'm going after this 24 seven title. I want the title. So if someone's going to sit there and ask me for a good luck kiss, what am I going to do? Of course, I'm going to give it to them. Is that what you want? Yeah. But you got to be careful because. Be careful what you ask for. Oh. Well, I mean, clearly you, you know, you have it all planned out, but those of us who are still watching are going to have probably some, some curiosity in the weeks leading up to seeing what kind of transpires. And Otis, you know, you've had a, you know, a romantic relationship with a fellow WWE Ooh. superstar in the past. Yes. Do you have any advice for Tamina in case this is something that develops? I mean, the advice is just keep on kissing. I, you know. <laughs> Mandy, Mandy, Mandy Rose did say that was the best kiss that she's ever kissed. Oh, wow. Yeah, wow. Yeah. Okay. But that's not, there's no advice really? there. I'm just saying just keep on kissing, baby. Just Be careful. Keep on kissing. Careful with the tongue. <laughs> 
It's good advice. Good advice. <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully, well, luckily, blowing kisses doesn't typically require any any tongue. So. All right, Kayla, that's good. Let me try to transition from that one. Um, getting juicy here. Tamina, you've seen it up close. Do you believe that Dana and Reggie actually have something going on, or are they kind of just using each other to keep the title close by? Otis says using. I don't know. Sometimes it, it kind of makes me a little bit weird. Yeah. She's a... Oh, yeah. Is it? You think it's weird? I mean, I don't... Yeah, like sometimes I'm kind of like I'm a, I'm a little confused by it a little bit, you know, because sometimes I'm like, is that really what he wants? You know, is it is he really into Dana? I don't know. I'm trying to help the woman out a little bit sometimes, though. I'm trying to educate her on some stuff too, but people don't want to listen. So whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Tamina, you know, Reggie and Dana have created a lot of moments, and you and Tazal have created several, but one in particular, though, comes to mind. It quickly became one of literally the most social moments of the year. I know you've already touched on this a bit, but can you kind of take us through, uh, like Chad Gable, he scouts a lot. He does a lot of uh, tape analysis. What was going through your <laughs> mind in this exact moment in time when Tazawa literally fell in your arms? Please, the floor is yours. Well, my thing is, he's been trying to get a kiss in for a little while. So my thing is, is you, like I said before, if you're going to ask me for something, be prepared for what's going to come after. Because I'm telling you, if I'm going to do something, I'm going to do it with passion and I'm going to do it with force. Yeah. So you ask me for a kiss. There you go. You got it. But Even to it me, it's not really it. anything because... <laughs> yeah, because it's like, if you really want something, you're going to go after it regardless. Hey, I'm going after this 24 seven title. That's what my mind is on. That's where my, my focus is. So I don't know all this romance stuff in between it. I don't know. It's, it's a little bit confusing. Right on. Uh, feelings. Yeah, I, I, I get it. I've been there. Uh, Tamina, let's, yeah. yeah, let's switch gears a little bit because you talked about putting your mind to something and going for it. About a year ago, we're coming up right on a bunch of big anniversaries for you. Uh, you and Natalia began your yeah. pursuit of the SmackDown Women's Championships, had a big WrestleMania moment, and then this happened last May. Uh, we talked to you at the time and, you know, you had so many emotions going through yourself after all of this happened. But now with a year of perspective, uh, what do you take mo most away from that period of time? What do you think back on now when you think of these moments? Oh, man. Well, that that time with Natalia, who I absolutely love, you know, I mean, we 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 bonded in a way that we have so much in common in this way, you know, growing up as generational wrestlers, you know, and seeing our families come up and then us being able to come and be a part of the industry and to actually make our own paths. And then when we were able to do that together, two nights of WrestleMania, that was something epic for us. You know, that's something I will never forget. That's something in my career. Like it just hits hard. Like anytime I start talking about it, you start to get the emotions and you start to get the goosebumps because as Master Gable and Otis know, you know, the dreams that you have, there, there's so much. And the, and the passion that you want to put behind your goals and the passion of, of being able to do what you love, we're here now and we're doing that. And being able to have moments like that, that's what you live for. That's what you want to fight for. Mm. Right Goes a long way. Uh, let's talk about yeah. this year's WrestleMania, Tamina. Uh, we have to ask, what's the feeling yeah. in the family right now? Roman Reigns, Brock Lesnar, title versus title, Winner take all unification match, the biggest WrestleMania match in history. What's the family feeling about this right now? Well, if you really think about it, because there's been so many feuds for the families like throughout the years, you know, and now that you've got Roman, I mean, Brock has, has been there. You know, he's wrestled so many different family members, you know, throughout the years. And now him coming up against Roman, I mean, this is another epic thing that you don't, you don't want to miss this. You know, it's something that's like, we are so drawn into it now that I can't wait to see what's going to happen. I can't wait to see what it is that Roman does, you know, because not, not only is, are they family, but it's like you almost, you almost kind of fight for Brock as well because you, you want to see these two clash. You want to see them go at it. Well, uh, Tim, I want to turn the attention, you know, back to you real quickly. You know, we're here celebrating Women's History Month and you are, Oh, we get a trailblazer in, in this, in this industry. You've been here for over 10 years now. Uh, what does this month mean to you? <laughs> what does this month mean to you as, as a woman? Uh, <laughs> and a woman who, you know, you came in as, as this young, this young woman and now you are considered a seasoned veteran, a locker room leader. So what does uh, Women's History Month mean to you? Oh man, it means a lot just because 
I think there's been so many women that came before us, you know, and they were the trailblazers and they made everything possible for us women to do what we do today. And the great.